Thank you, Terry. And coming right up, it's MasterChef Tony Astell from Antoine's in Parnell with three fabulous wines on the table. Tony Astell. Yeah. The best part of my month is when you arrive with those three wonderful bottles of wine. We always end up back in Melbourne. So I think we're going to pay a special tribute to all our wine friends in Melbourne and the Nelson region. And uh, of course, we've got three beautiful wines on the table. Uh, but just before we do that, Tony, World Cup Rugby starts this Friday. What do you feel about that? Well, it's pretty amazing. It's quite exciting, really, for us, too, because we've got some very interesting people coming to the restaurant. Yes. No names mentioned, of course, but... Yeah. And business is really looking good for the next couple of months, so we're going to have that early Christmas rush for once, and it's, mm. it's good. But the feeling is so fantastic, yeah. isn't it, at the moment? You're just suddenly it's all going. Anyway, Tony, I'm eyeing those three wonderful uh, wines on the table, so let's very quickly go through each wine that we'll be tasting tonight. OK, we're going to go to Boulder Vines Sauvignon Blanc. Yes. And uh, that's in Marlborough, obviously. And then we're going to go to... Kaharangi Pinot Gris, and that's 2011. Mm. That's in Nelson. And that's in Nelson, yes. yes. And then we're going to go to Kerner Estate, 2009 Pinot Gris. So which one do we taste first? Well, I think we'll leave the two Pinot Gris so we yep. can, we'll get a, because they're different in style, so we'll go for the... Straight to the Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc. Blanc. which mm. is, of course, famous mm. in Marlborough. The first one is going to be Boldervine. Boldervine, what a great and name, isn't Bo it? Sauvignon Blanc, and it's yeah. 2010. Now, Tony, a bit of history about Boulder Vine. It, it's, it's owned by Philip and Janie Walsh. The family has been on the land since 1935. They started by being contract growers and then developed Boulder Vine. You know, it's an amazing history because Bill Walsh actually was, along with Montana, one of the, the pioneers of planting grapes in the area. 1935, they started farming and then moving into grapes. Mm -hmm. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, what a bouquet. Okay. Yeah. It's this lime there, you know, mm. lime zest. Can you sort of get that sort of citrus lime zest there? Oh, beautiful. The winemaker is uh, Drew Ellis, or Andrew Ellis. I'm yeah. calling him Drew, even though I've <laughs> never met him. But, um, and he's born and raised in New York. So it's actually quite an interesting, yeah. you know, how people get together, together, isn't it, really? Let's have a taste. Now that... That is superb. Now it's interesting because, oh, you know me, I'm beautiful. not a huge Sauvignon mm. Blanc fan Bad until idea. you find a good one. Mm. Oh. Now, I mean, the flavours in here, there's passion fruit, there's, it's herbaceous. Yes. What I think I like about this mm. is the, beautiful. the dry, mm. dryness on the back palate and it's lingering. Mm. You know, sometimes some of the Sauvignon Blancs say, just get to that too smelly stage. <laughs> yes. But this one, yeah. and it's perfect temperature, and I will go on and on and on about this, mm. don't over, over chill your wine. Because look, yes. it's, a, it's a little bit chilly at the moment, you know, mm. weather-wise, but this not being not chilled, yeah. you can get, mm. I mean, the flavours, they're just, they're running, aren't they? Mm. They're jumping around your mouth. And food-wise, I just love those bluff or bluff but yeah. glory bay from stewart island oysters now i decided to play around with this and these oysters we have medium large mega gigantic now mm. that you know you've got to put yeah. your foot on the gigantic <laughs> one but the f this wine was a perfect match and i did it with the oysters mm. and then i did a, a i did a capsicum and asparagus salsa mm. and i tell you they just bounce off each other. So we've got to thank Drew for this, yeah. but Janie and Philip, you know, yeah. foresight is a great thing. And I'll tell you, this is actually, I actually think one of the better Sauvignon Blancs mm. I have ever tried. Well, for all our viewers, we can recommend this. If you'd like to, if you want to get a beautiful Sauvignon Blanc, Boulder Vines. Boulder Vines. Vines. Look for Boulder Vines in, in stores throughout New Zealand or go to the website, go to Boulder Vines website and contact uh, Philip and Janie and uh, you'll make a wonderful purchase. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Now, Tony, wine number two out of our three beautiful wines on the table, which would you like to do next? Well, I think we'll go Kaharangi Estate, you know. Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris 2011. Mm. Do you get a lot of uh, 
actual requests? I mean, how big is Pinot Gris now, Tony? Uh, Pinot Gris has become sort of the new darling wine. Yeah. It's quite interesting, really, mm. because I think what people like about Pinot Gris, you can drink it in the daytime without mm. food, whatever. What worries me about a lot of the Pinot Gris, they're too sweet. And, they, okay. and we, sometimes we don't find, you know, you know when you want to buy a Pinot Gris, you think, okay, I'll have that, yeah. because it's going to be a certain type of thing. Yeah. But then you get you go, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a lot of differences, mm. and I think probably areas make it a lot, have a lot to do with that. Mm. Well, it looks nice pouring into the glass, but Tony. This was first established in 1973. 73, that's the same year that uh, Antoine's, Antoine's opened. I mean, 73 yes. was obviously a very good year, yeah. wasn't it? Now, this is a family-owned vineyard as well, and there's uh, Greg and Amanda Day and their daughter, Samantha. We've got so many families, haven't yes, we? Yes, that's what I love. Which I just love about it. Yeah. I think lifestyle is a big yeah. thing for these things, but it's been very tough yeah. in New Zealand and the wine industry. But anyone worth their salt is going to hang in there. Yes. And it will all come out again. But And if you're making a great product, you can't go wrong. And you can't. And Neil Todd is the winemaker here. Mm -hmm. Kaharangi was the new name in 1998, but the vineyard's been there since 1973. And uh, the Day family bought it in 1998. It's handmade, premium okay. quality wines. So it's situated in the historic uh, village of Upper Muturi, and it's 33 Ks. From Nelson and they've actually got quite a few awards for their wine which is actually quite exciting you know and you've got uh, they got the Brigato 2011 wine awards pure gold Pinot Gris 2011 pure silver for their Mount Arthur Reserve Riesling and the New Zealand International Wine Competition 2011 gold MacArthur Reserve Chardonnay so they oh, that's pretty good they isn't are, it? yeah they're pretty yeah, out yeah. there shall I'm we, hanging in there yeah, right, okay let's go shall <laughs> let's we? have a taste Sensational. You know, Sensational. it is fruit yes. driven. However, mm. you know how oh. I said some of them are sweet. This isn't sweet, it's fruit driven. Oh, it's but there's honey, it is dried pears. Mm. You know, it's just a gentle sort of honey oh. flavour. And it's it's a you know, that back palate, it's sort of bouncing off and it sort of gets down. I just love all those tastes, aren't they so good? I get angry with sweet mm. Pinot Gris. Now this isn't sweet and I mm. don't want to sort of sound as I'm sort of backtracking, yeah. but it does have that honey, light mm. honey, and it's, but it's fresh. And once again, the temperature's mm. good. And you know what? I decided to play with this. You know, here we are in September, the first of South Island whitebait. Mm. And I got some the other day, and I just decided with this. Yeah, try it out with the yeah, Will yeah. it go with whitebait? But yeah. so what I'm doing is actually quickly sautéing the whitebait, but very, very quick, like individually, mm. So it's a big mound of white bait. And I'm just putting a little bit of a citrus, lemon juice and honey and just mm. heating it and just pouring it over. And I'll tell you, the marriage is unbelievable. Oh, I bet it it's is. It's a heaven made yeah. marriage. And so you think white bait, no, but white bait's so subtle. Greg and Amanda have done it. Greg They've and done Amanda. They've proud. And the winemaker, which and is Neil Todd. Neil Todd, Todd great. you're absolutely fabulous. So if you'd like to purchase a wonderful wine like this, look, it's so simple. Google Kahurangi and uh, you'll find out all about this wonderful wine and, of course, where to purchase it. You know, one other thing, mm. this, their wines, it's an accolade. Claridge's of London have these, uh, their wines on their list. Now, wow. that is an accolade. This is what's so good about New Zealand. Yeah. Now, like, we've got the fat duck, we've got all these sort of amazing restaurants mm. wanting New Zealand, New Zealand wines. Wine. So, Tony. Onwards and upwards yes, with our will. third and final wine for the evening. And a very interesting story coming up. Third one. Third wine. Now we're going to go on to Kuner Estate. And this is a Pinot Gris 09. So it's got a little bit of age History, on it, yep, which yep. should be a very interesting situation. So it's another, another Marlborough established by Joanne and Bruce Kerner. And later, Will and Lizzie joined. Oh. The family, so it's another family one, you know, which is great, and it's. Um, but this time, and I do know this, an American family. Isn't it amazing? And, the, yeah. and this is an amazing from story. California, and there they were, Hollywood producers. I can't believe the number of television programs these two produced. 
Yeah, or the, or associated with. It's quite amazing between mm. the two of them. They're yeah. pretty out there, aren't they? Like yeah. Joanne was the Cosby Show and a different world. Cosby Show, yeah. yeah. And a different I mean, world. And that was huge. Bruce, Judge Judy. Yeah. Talk, that's quite amazing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And I think it had something to do with the Terminator. And it mm. says on uh, one of his bylines is that... Mm. Uh, you know, he wasn't the one that said, I'll be back. But they are back. They came here. <laughs> so they turned their back on the uh, production of television India, and they loved, obviously loved wine, and they thought to themselves, we would love to have, and so many people have this dream, some acres growing vines and, 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 and producing beautiful wine. And it's quite amazing because they went, to, they, they liked the idea of Simona, uh, Sonoma, which is an uh, amazing place and yeah. an amazing part of the world. But they couldn't quite afford to buy the land there, so they... In the 90s, they decided to plant here, and though it came on yeah. holiday here, yeah. they planted the vine in the upper Wairau mm. uh, area, and the locals said, mad Americans, you know, <laughs> it's never, ever going to work. And yeah. look what's happened. Yeah, exactly. Now, everyone wants to be around that area. It's quite yeah. amazing. So they had yeah. foresight, you know, and their primary market is New York, and mm. it is amazing because they, they take their wine there, and they, you go into, look, I've been to a couple of restaurants in New York, and Lo and behold, they're there, and you think, yes. New Zealand, you know, you get goose pimples and you think yes. this is good. So they are drinking this wine in New York, which Ooh. is an amazing thing. Well, Tony, let's have let's a have The, the bouquet is beautiful. Oh. Let's try it, shall we? Slightly dry. This is, what oh. I, this is, this is good, you know. It's, a, it's totally different from the last one, but that. it... It is, it's, it's edgy, you know, it, it's out mm. there. But it is slightly dry and stale, which, mm. which is good for me pairing food with it, you know, and it's, it is quince there, there's nectarine, you know. But they used to say that Sauvignon Blanc Marlborough, but I'm saying Pinot Gris Marlborough. It's, well, it's I think just Marlborough in general yeah. <laughs> is pretty amazing. What's the water down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I love that dryish aftertaste. What can you see going with this, Tony? Well... I've already had a little sneaky, <laughs> and uh, I just did this big dinner the other night, and I decided this would go perfectly mm. with it, and it was white pears poached in white wine. Well, there's only white pears, I presume, but anyway, <laughs> they were poached in, in white wine, and I then took the core out mm. and left, left them whole, and I put a brie inside them, and then... I just made a beautiful, beautiful sauce uh, with saffron and paprika and just coated the pear with this mm. and it was cold and it was just unbelievable oh, because it's only, it's you've just got to think outside mm. the square when you do these sort of things and the saffron, New Zealand saffron too, I might mm. tell you, which is quite amazing yeah. once again and the papri smoked paprika was just great. Well, the congratulations now goes to Bruce and Joanne. So all you have to do is Google Kerner Estate Wines and you can find out all about Bruce and Joanne. Don't forget Will and Lizzie, they are part of the family. And Will and Lizzie. Three wonderful wines and of course we had a competition the last time you were on and uh, we do have, we are really short of time after that but uh, we've done the draw. We do have the winner here Tony, I have it written down. Joyce Martin from Napier. Joyce, congratulations. You've got to get up to Auckland, unfortunately, we but your name you. did come out. <laughs> Give Tony a call and make a booking at Antoine's Restaurant. And, of course, we've got to have another competition, don't we? I mean... We will. What were the three wines that we drank What were the... Today? Gosh, Kerner Estate, Kaharangi... Boulder Vines. Boulder Vines. Put those three names onto the subject line. Jared at the Beat goes on, and you'll win yourself a wonderful, wonderful meal with your partner... Indeed, at uh, Antoine's restaurant. And I will match the wine. Oh, Tony, you're wonderful. See you in one month's time. Always good to see you. Okay, thanks, Tony.